Right, stingers. So the stinger is a, a tactic that's used in a pursuit. In the back of the police car, there's a, there's a long box and it's a, a plastic device. I don't know how you want a concertina or whatever you want to call it. Um, so it fits in this big and when you throw it, it, it expands out across the floor and it's, it's nails and pins are about that big. Now, when I say the sharp, the hypodermic needle sharp, they're not your fork or a butter knife, the, you touch it, it'll go through your finger. And they come with plastic sheaves on top. So if you fall, put your hand on it, it's not gonna go through your hand. Um, these tactics are used obviously to stop stolen vehicles and they're a brilliant piece of kit. You taught how to throw it and if you can't, if you've never thrown one, you shy look. If it's your first stinger, you shy look. Um, when you do get a stinger, you get a badge, um, which is brilliant. Stinger actually sends you a badge saying, like, it's like I've stung someone and it's an hedgehog. It's got a little traffic cap on it, a jog spike. So everyone's like trying to get your stinger badge. So like I remember Baby Ben when he got his first stinger badge, you know what I mean, or things like that. And it, it's brilliant. It's um, <laughs> two, that, two that really stand out to me, they were a stolen Mercedes 500 SL um, pursued from Bailden. I think it come from Menston, pursued down Bailden. And I got under a bridge on Thackley Road, which the shitbags always take this road. You know as soon as you take this road, this is where it's going to be going. And I remember Dave shouting up, it's, it's, it's going on towards Dockfield. As soon as he said Dockfield, I thought, fucking hell, I'm off the side of this road here. Little bridge, absolutely brilliant place. And then normally you, you, you run out of your car and you, you're panicking, you're getting boot up and you're trying to wrestle, can you get Stinger? Uh, stinger sight, Stinger sight. But it was literally like, hmm, tick, tick. And took because like, I knew what's going on, and I had so much time, and I'd gone to the back at boot, and I opened boot, and I'm like, <sighs> and I took stinging out, and laid it on the floor, and just as I picked it up, and he went, and we're now coming towards the bridge, and I just went like that, and it just hit the floor, and it went, and it was perfect. Now normally when you throw them, they'll go all the way, and they'll like hit the floor, and then they're one of these things, you know, like um, like a, uh, the only way I can describe it. Do you remember when you were a kid and you had these um, slinky? And the slinky went downstairs, and all of a sudden it tied itself up in knots. You're like, how the fuck's it done that? And you spent all Christmas Day trying to undo your slinky. It was like that. If it dropped wrong way, it just twists itself up, and you wouldn't be able to do it. And I remember throwing it. It's under a bridge now, and I just threw it, and it went sliding like glass across the road. And it's still cow went, whoa, boof, boof, and it makes that, like you see on films, boosh, boosh, as tires pop. And this car goes straight up road, it's this grass banking. And we don't, we don't get them, they've run off by that time because we've got to go across this line of traffic. But it's brilliant. When you look at your stinger, you've got two lines that have come out, but stinger which tyres have gone. And you've got to go put these little stinger packs back in. So within about a week of that happening, um, I'm driving around, you know, feeling, feeling quite good about myself. Each of the people that we've, we, we work with have all got their own little roles. And Dave's one of the lads a lot that uses stinger a lot. So we all know him. We'll get a pursuit, Dave will get in his position and he's got a sting out. I can't remember who were behind this car. And the job had come out that there were a golf house stolen earlier at night. This were about 10 o'clock in the morning. And it were in company with a golf Blue Motion at the time. Now, it turned out to be a big fraud job did this. And I think from what it sounded like, someone had taken, didn't want to pay for the golf from finance. So made it like it's stolen, dumped it somewhere and come back in this golf Blue Motion. So if you don't know what a blue motion is, a blue motion is a make of golf, and obviously it's it's good for uh, emissions. It's that sort of thing. It's it's not a blue car, a golf blue motion. It's not you don't get a motion golf, so to speak. So they, they show out this uh, car's coming down on false plates, and literally I'm there at the scene, um, and it's a, it's a black car, but it says it's a golf blue motion. So we're all like going, right, yeah. But it's, it's, it's on false, so it, how it was said across the radio. So the person in the office has picked up that it's a black car, but it says it's a golf blue, so a blue golf. We got it at the time, but they were saying, no, it's adamant false plates. So I literally got out of the car again, exactly like the first time, cool as a cucumber, boot up. And I could see it coming towards me with traffic cars sat behind it. It wasn't making off. It was just 20 mile an hour in normal traffic. So I literally just picked my stinger up Cocky as days long. I just, you know, just balls of steel at this point because I thought, I've done it once, I'll do it again. Walked straight into a line, line of traffic, went like that. There's a car coming towards me, stays there. And then it came down, and he was just looking at me, the driver going, like that. Boof, like that. <laughs> straight out with Stinger. Tires went, just come to a stop. Uh, right, 
get out, stopped everyone searching, your car's on false plates. Went, no, it's not. So I went it back, put the motion on the back of it, and it turned out it was a legitimate car and we're still this innocent party. Popped all these tires for now. Turned out though, the car were all rebuilt on stone parts. So it were actually a car that had been built on stone parts. So we got a right car. It wasn't on fraudulent plates, we got the right car at the right time. Within a week, I got two stinger badges. And I thought, absolutely brilliant. I walk in the office like, check me out with my stinger. They're a brilliant device. We can sting motorbikes, we can sting quads. All these people, I think, if you're going to go down Longside Road, we'll watch chase you. But with Stingers, it, it's one of the best pieces of kit, and I've been in loads and loads of pursuits. It's one of the best ones we're in Bingley with a 12-year-old kid behind the wheel of this golf. Firearms are throwing Stinger out. It hit. Tires went down. Went wrong way around, roundabout, boxed it in, and it brought the pursuit to a safe conclusion. So my advice, if you see a Stinger laid out in the road, just go over it. It's there for a reason, and there might be a stolen car behind you. Uh, I'm not saying we'll pay for your tires, but... Someone will be laughing somewhere when you go over and get flat tires. You said before that it's, uh, it can be quite scary if there's a fa if especially if there's a, a fast pursuit coming yeah. in. What, can you describe what it's like, what that feeling is like when you're going to throw it? Yeah, so uh, when I've been out on a pursuit and I've got stinging out, this was a stolen a insignia and it was coming towards me at about 90 miles an hour. Only 90 miles an hour, but you stand outside at, uh, uh, at Moorway and watch a car come past you at 70. This is 90 miles an hour in a residential area. I deployed Stinger. Now, when I did it, the road were too wide. I should have got a long Stinger. Um, the road were too wide, so I, by the time he's seen it, he's on the wrong side of the road and he, I haven't got him. Um, but if you can imagine it, you can hear the cars revving as they're coming down the road. You can hear the engines. You can hear the tyres pushing on the tarmac and it's a weird sense to um it's like when you're on motorway you can hear this zoom, zoom, and it's it's the rubber on the tire in the tarmac and you can hear the sirens coming so every time you hear sirens coming you get a little bit of adrenaline anyway everyone does they're always like oh where are they coming from but you're thinking now hang on a minute this bloke can just aim straight for me and no matter what hits within the next 50 60 meters is going to hit me you can hit parked cars whatever i remember throwing it out and looking up the road and thinking it's half a mile away. But by the time I'd thrown it out and looked, it'd gone past. So if I'd have miscalculated my steps, if I'd have miscalculated how I wanted to throw that, if I'd have done something wrong, he, he could have hit me. When it come past me, the air, the wind, you can feel it's, it's pushed the wind out um, from the velocity of the car going forward and it's hitting your face and, you, and the sound going past. It's like the ground shakes. It's like electric. It's like thunder. It's... It's a bizarre concept to be so close to a car going so fast. And you know your oppos that are driving cars aren't going to hit you. But when they're going past, zoom, zoom, zoom. It's a bizarre feeling that you'll never recreate. All I can say is stand, stand on an hardcore barrier of a motorway and try and get as close as you can to cars going, don't do this. Try and get as close as you can to cars going 70 miles an hour. Then put a stolen car as one of those cars with a burglar behind wheel. Who thinks they can do what they want? It's petrifying, really. And then when you put your stinger back in box and you sit in car, you think, I will, I, the only way I can describe it, I were inches from death. Either way, if you want to do one thing or do another, if you'd have got it wrong, it's, it's not nice. It's not nice. But you train to do it and we will do it. I it was like, they'd see the stinger and think, oh, we'll swerve, or yeah. we'll try and get out of the way. So they, yeah, they, they, hope they don't swerve, well, the, the other way. The idea is you're not meant to do it and leave it at Leyden Road. Now, if it's a country road, yeah, if it's a country road, you can walk over, drop it down, and you can pull it back. They've got nowhere to go. But if it's normal road, you're meant to wait till they're three quarters at where literally within touching distance and throw it out so he's got nowhere to go. Yeah. So it's down to you to position your vehicle right. and to, to be able to sting right to be able to get the, the best effects. Yeah. Um, but it all needs to be done by surprise. So when you're looking at times which might be five to seven seconds to stop your car, to run it back, to open it back, throw loads of cones out, throw your bags out, get your stinger box, and deploy your stinger. It's a, it's, a, it's a scary situation when you're doing it. But that's why everyone's proud when they get a stinger badge. Well, they're proud when they get a tracker badge. They're, they're, they're just, you know what I mean? It's, it's one of those things that you think, this is what steps me up in my career. Because the, the, I think there's some bobbies uh, that could be in traffic for five, ten years and never have deployed a stinger. So if you're walking around and you've got like five stinger badges on, you, you obviously you used it and you've done it well. You, you've got to pull it in pretty quick then, haven't you? As yeah. Well? Yeah, because there is a lot, there's been a lot of years of where 
you've, you, it's a single carriage way road or it's a road where and you've thrown it in and your job is to throw it in and throw it back, pull it back. That's your job. Don't forget these spikes are coming back at you probably like 60 miles now when you're pulling them back. So you're trying to get out of the way of all these spikes because the wool will just go into your legs. Um, but there has been bobbies where, woo, like that, and bandit car goes, woof, woof, and then traffic goes, woof, woof, and traffic goes, woof, woof, and all traffic cars have all been stung. Or one of, one of them skids to a stop and front wheels go over and they're like, you're looking at you like, you knob. <laughs> but you're like, everyone makes mistakes, but it's you, you, we've put ourselves in that position where you're, you're probably 1% of doing what no one else is doing on roads at, outside your house at three in the morning when you're tucked in your little bed at night sleeping away, we're outside your house doing this. We are going to get it wrong sometimes, but we learn, and that's why you, when you say stinger, we'll always drop back a little bit, saying we'll always position our cars so we're ready to rock and roll. With Lord's Patreon channel, if you want to help out, please see the link below. Thank you.